Hello friends, I am Pradesh. In this video, let's discuss the solution to the problem number of one bits in lead code. So the problem description is to write a function that takes an unsigned integer and return the number of one bits it has. So the goal is to find the number of set bits in an integer. Okay, this can be done in two ways. First, let's discuss the brute force method. Let's consider the number to be 10 and let its equal representation be 0, 0, 0 in the form of 8 bit binary be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. and the output should be 2. Okay. In the brute, brute force method, what we will do is uh, add the lost bit with 1 and if it is 1, we will increment the count and then uh, write if the number by 1. This is repeated until the number becomes 0. But the time complexity is quite higher in this in this uh, solution. There's an efficient solution, and the name of the solution is Brian Kernighan algorithm. In this method, let's again consider the number to be ten. In this method, the current number and the previous number are added. In this case, I mean like 10 can be represented as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 9 can be represented as 1, 0, 0, 1. And these two numbers are added. So the result will be 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0. So in this method, uh, the after the rightmost set bit, the numbers are toggled. You can see that here it is 1, 0 and here the numbers are toggled, 0, 1. So when we add, one of the set bit, set bit is removed from the given number. And when again repeated, for example now let the number be 8. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and again a uh, previous number is 7 here. So here it would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And when we add these two numbers, we will get 0. So the number of times the loops is repeated is the number of set bits in the given number. Okay, now let's see the coding part. First of all, let's have a count variable to store the number of set bits and return the count. Here the number is n, while the number is not equal to 0. Um, and the number with its previous number and increment the count. Now let's run the code. I think it would run nice. Yeah, this is the solution. Thank you.